So last month, Drake had flew me out. So I have made a video and I posted it on my Instagram story. It was a video of me inside a purple lingerie set. And I had tagged Drake inside my story, but I tagged him and I like made it real small so nobody could know that I had tagged him in my story. So I did not know that he was going to even seek it. I'm not even going to lie. So he had texted me in vanish mode and was like, what's your number? With the hard eyes emoji. So I sent my number. Quick. So he called my phone, we chopped it up or whatever, and that's when he was like, he trying to see me, and I was like, I'm trying to see you too. So he had booked my flight for the November 16th. Mind y'all, we texting, talking, all of that, November 13th. So fast forward, I got off the plane, he had sent a private out to get me, but before I went inside his house, they made me sign an NDA. So I can't really say too much, but I had looked at my NDA rules, so I know what I can and can't say, you feel me? So when I get in the house, we just sitting on the couch, chilling, talking. He kept on rubbing on my stomach and kept on asking questions like, do you want kids? And I'm like, what you trying to say? Like, if you want if you want a baby mama, me, just say that. <laughs> he just kept on rubbing on my stomach, asking me, do I want kids? I was like, yeah, I want one. I want a little boy. So we watch a movie. We drinking Casamigos. Then y'all know. Casamigos bring out the freak up. <laughs> so y'all know we did what we did. I don't have to go in detail about that because it's self-explanatory. But he did not use protection, which was a little weird. But y'all know I'm just going with the flow. So after we did what we did, we just cuddling and we're watching another movie. So everything went left when I pulled my phone out. So I had pulled my phone out and I had recorded him. And as soon as he seen me recording him, he slapped my phone out my hand. I'm not even going to lie. I got a little scared because that slap was aggressive. But after he had slapped the phone out my hand, he was like, you got to go. I was like, just because I recorded you, really? But I had posted the video on my Instagram. All the receipts is on my Instagram. So I don't got time for y'all to be like, I'm lying and all of that. Because what do I have to lie for? It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. As y'all see, some girl claimed that Drake flew her out and you know what I'm saying, they smashed and when she pulled the camera out, he kicked her out. I don't even know how this shit gets legs, yo. Like, I'm so confused. Like, I don't even know how this shit spreads, how it gets out there to the point where the nigga has to respond and it's like, come on, Drake. We all know that this is bullshit. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know how she did this shit with a straight face, but look at her though, she got, fake eyelashes she got look like contacts in she got a tattoo around the neck area she got the fake chain she you know the uh rhinestones with your name on it you got the fake hair got the the unnatural baby hair like she just looks stupid them eyelashes look dumb as but anyway yeah <laughs> talking about he was rubbing on my stomach talking about having a kid <laughs> Hey, yo, get the fuck up out of here, man. Stop playing, man. This is definitely the basic bitch package if I had seen one of them before. I'm trying to tell you, you know, these are the type of girls that you stay away from, that you don't reproduce with. Uh, recreational use only, you don't take serious. You usually catch them at the local hood spot or, you know, the bar that's in a residential area. You know, it's one of them type chicks, you know, with the nose ring and all that. But anyway, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.